Hey everyone, in this quick demo, I want to introduce you to the Post Pro Canvas Studio system. These are not just digital backdrops set. It's a systematic workflow designed to give you guaranteed and realistic results. Let's start with the backdrops themselves. Based on the lighting, we have two sets of backdrops for either high key or brightly lit images and a low key set for dramatic lighting with shadows. In the full tutorial, you'll see exactly how to light your subject for the best results. Unlike generic digitally created 2D graphic overlays, all our backdrops are pre-lit, three-dimensional realistic photographs. For this quick demo, let's start with the moss green canvas. Let's transform it to fit in the canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect yet as we can fine tune it later. Now let's bring the subject layer on top of the backdrop layer and click on select subject. Since the apple box was not selected, I'm going to use the object selection tool and holding shift on the keyboard, I'll add to the selection. To fix these unselected bits, I can use the lasso tool, and again, while holding shift, add them to the selection. Next, I'm going to create a mask to show just our selection and hide the original background. Now you can fine tune the canvas backdrop placement to your liking. Right after masking the subject, when you zoom in close to the hair, you will usually see these halos. To fix this, I'm going to first show you a hack using Photoshop's Harmonize tool. With our subject layer selected, click on Harmonize. This will create three different options. Choose the one that looks realistic. At the moment, this tool generates in low resolution and you can see the loss of details in the face. So here's the hack. Drag the subject layer on top of the new Harmonize layer and then drag it to the layer group icon to create a group. Next, create a mask on the group layer and fill the mask with black to hide the original subject. Now select the brush tool and the white foreground color and with a soft brush, paint over the face without painting over the edges of the hair. Repeat this for other areas of the body. Now when we zoom in the face, you can see the details back. While this is good enough, you can see that the Photoshop's Harmonize tool can't create a perfect blend every time, so it's very useful to learn to do this the right way. I've already masked out the subject and created the simple correction layers that creates this perfect blend in the edges, so that when you place your images on the backdrops, it magically fits into it with just a little tweak. And this effect is so easy and takes nearly the same time as the Harmonize hack, but with a reliable and realistic composite every time. You'll learn exactly how to do this in the full tutorial. In fact, once you know this trick, you can use it for absolutely any backdrops to get realistic results, including AI-generated ones. For those who don't use Photoshop, the technique we explain can be applied to any photo editing software that supports layers, like Affinity Photo and many others. So I hope this little demo was helpful, and if you want to try out the PostPro Canvas backdrops, you can find the link in the description below.